So we are at 13 cups now of tomatoes. some water bottles. There we go. And I'm having an issue with the pulp wanting to come out right here on the end and not go through the hole. We're going to be doing this so, I have not actually been doing this like all day long, like I've been on and off cleaning. So, in my cleaning video, I will be posting that right here if y'all want to go see that. So, I did have one of my friends, um, Ashlyn Holly. she's over on DJ Dirty Base, it is his wife. She came over and, because she had ordered two plushies from me. If you all want to order some plushies, you can go check out my Etsy and my Tito shop. They are linked in the video description down below. But she had ordered these over on my Shopify. Right now that store is deactivated because I'm not getting that many sales. But once we start picking up on orders and everything, I might open that back up. I'm not entirely sure. But she came over, picked up her stuff, and me and her talked. 
and we realized that our high school reunion is um, three years away and it's making me feel old as hell right now but I have been alternating between cleaning my house and doing these tomatoes so that's probably why it's taking me a lot longer if I had just stayed doing these all day then probably would have gotten them done quicker but my ADHD has been running wild today so in my cleaning video which I will be linking in the video description box below if y'all want to go check that out I am cleaning the house in that video it's like some homemaker motivational stuff and Josh has actually helped me today clean the house so I am knocking some of the pulp back into it because I am having issues with it like coming out right here. Like that's all just seeds and pulp, unfortunately. But we're just gonna deal with what we got. I ordered this off of Amazon. I will link it in the video description box below as well. So everything that I use I will link, like my blender is a ninja blender, I got it at Walmart for like 90 bucks, it was actually a gift from my dad, so I didn't buy it, he bought it for me. I think the roasted tomatoes are about done, and I have maybe one more blender full of tomatoes left and then I have all of the other tomato sauce to blend through this now that I'm thinking about it well tomato sauce Josh loves chili and so do I and I like making stews and soups during the fall and winter time so tomato sauce is one of the biggest things that I buy at the grocery store. And with this, it's saving me money. All of this was free pretty much because the only thing I bought was the onions. And I've already bought the seasoning so I didn't have an additional cost for those. And then these tomatoes were gifted to me from my great great grandma. So shout out to my nene who is 86 years old and picked all of these tomatoes for me and then offered them to me. They were in their garden. I had already picked a bunch of tomatoes as you all can see in one of my shorts here on YouTube. And this is the tomatoes after we had done picked them. So I can imagine if my garden would have done anything only thing we got from the garden was a bunch of cayenne peppers and some jalapeno peppers. And I have actually been on a jalapeno kick here lately. I've been eating them on my sandwiches. I'm loving the spice from them. So I might can up some jalapenos. I guess it's just the Gen X in me that is used to instant gratification. But honestly, the fact that I know what is in this tomato sauce and I know where it came from is more fulfilling to me than the stuff that you buy in the store. I do have some tomato sauce from the store that's in the pantry because I didn't know that I was going to be getting a bunch of tomatoes this year and I am just so grateful. I'm gonna have some killer arms after this. Me and Josh had some bacon for lunch. He is out fishing right now with his friend and he is going to be catching me some catfish to bring home. So that is a plus. Get some extra free protein here in the home. Well, I would say free because he's got to pay $15 to go to the Pay Lake. 
which is where they decided to go today. Normally they go to the dam, but we always love free protein. This winter, my children's father is deer hunting and he is taking our son. So hopefully Tennessee will get us a deer and then there is even extra free protein. And luckily I know how to skin a deer and fillet a deer and cut it up. So that might be some content for this winter, maybe, hopefully. Harvesting a whole deer for my right. My left arm is not as strong as my right arm. Almost done. That has taken us like five minutes to run all the way through. We've got quite a bit of pulp out, I will say that. remember it better than others but I don't know let me know your thoughts would you consider me a Gen Z or a millennial or should we come up with this new term called Zennials because Zennial I like a little bit better than Elder Gen Z because it makes me feel old all right so the roasted tomatoes are finally done I ended up increasing the temperature up to 295 from 275 and they've been roasting for about say an hour. That smells so good. Like y'all, that is amazing. Like, that's going to make this tomato sauce taste so good. I'm excited. I'm so excited. Alright, so we are on the last bit of tomatoes. This is the roasted tomatoes that we just put out of the oven. 
and I'm running them through the strainer now to put them on the oven. And then whenever we get done with this, I'm going to blend up some um, onions and put them in here. We last was 42 and a half. We've got all the way up to eight. Actually, we got all the way up to like 10. So that was like 30 or 52 and a half. 52 and a half cups of tomatoes that we have gotten from all of the tomatoes that I've gotten from my grandma's this last round, not total combined. Total combined, I've got a total of 44 tomato, cups of tomatoes from the last group. So, let me do some quick math. Ninety-eight and a half cups of tomatoes. Hold it. I'm gonna add the last little bit of juice in here now that I can handle the pan. sauce that's already cooked and has been in my fridge for a few days. i run that through the tomato milk. I just added the onions in. My eyes are watery as hell right now. I did not film it because it's embarrassing how bad my eyes water. We're gonna let this big bad boy cook and we're just gonna watch it reduce. I'm gonna reduce it to about half I am taking a break from the tomatoes right now. I have the ones that are ready to be canned setting out. I'm just, I need a break on a crochet. And yeah, that's, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go crochet for a little bit because my eyes are watery so bad due to those onions. Sorry for the quality, but Josh just got home and he did end up catching some fish and that is what we are getting ready to go do. It's dark outside, so I apologize for the lighting and the quality. How many did you get? Five. You got five? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, they were hard to catch. They were hard to catch? Well, hey, at least you got five. Trigger warning, there is about to be blood because Josh caught fish and they are in there. How much they meat they got on them? Well, they got them. They got. They got good. Well, we're gonna be having catfish and hush puppies. It is currently 
116 on Sunday. I'm getting a very, very late start to doing all of this. I have not felt good this morning and I have finally decided to get up and do this because it needs to be done. So don't mind how I look right now. And I'm sorry about the lighting, but we have got a dozen quart jars here. I got these from Lebsterlot.com and they were running a sale on them whenever I bought them. And I bought in bulk and bought like 36 dozen quarts. Actually, I don't even remember how many I bought, but I have a ton of jars. And they come with the lids and the rings. Get this box out of our way. I also have two more additional jars that have the lids and rings on them. We're just going to take all of these lids and rings off. I don't wash my jars. I know that I probably should, but I just don't. And as you can see, I have a sink full of dishes from yesterday that I need to still get done. My back was hurting yesterday and I was so ready to sit down. And that's what it is. I have been crocheting all morning and I have very little to show for it, unfortunately. I'm hoping that we're going to get all of this full and maybe some more. I at least want to have a dozen. That's my goal. We ended up having a hundred cups, maybe a hundred and one cups of tomato sauce. Or from the tomatoes all together. I don't know how much it's going to be, but we will, um, add while we are pouring. Alright, so I'm going to get all of these out of my way. I'm probably not going to use that one. Definitely will might use this one. Put all of my lids and rings on it. That way we've got everything nice and neat. First thing I'm going to do is just like, that way this is easier to deal with. I've got to clean the countertop off anyways, so I'm not going to be totally worried about that. I'm going to, this one actually looks like I feel like it's going to be a lot easier to manage. And we're just going to pour our sauce in here. I am using this funnel because it helps with messes. And I grew up always being told to fill it up to this rim right here, right where it goes straight. So that's what I'm going to do. I don't pay attention to headspace because I always just do everything to the rim of the jar to where it goes to the straight part where you screw the lid on. tomato sauce. I put tomatoes, a piece of burnt part in it. It did end up burning on the bottom a little bit. And I did scrape it off, but it hasn't affected the taste at all. Or at least I had to Three. I'm gonna have to get a 
another rag. making some pipe jars just for the simple fact that I can put this on the stove and cook it down a little bit more and reduce it to make pizza sauce and because this has got a plain base I can make this into spaghetti sauce, tomato sauce, gelatari is pizza sauce. It's very very versatile. And that's the thing with canning is you want to have it as plain in the can or in the jar as you can have it. That way whenever you get ready to use it, you've got all these other options. But if you want to skip the extra step of having to add all of the ingredients after while you're cooking, you can go ahead and make the spaghetti sauce or pizza sauce or what have you. The next time I make tomato sauce, I definitely want to roast some more tomatoes, but I'm gonna have to get a bigger pot to put in my oven. so good and I don't even like tomatoes by themselves if I don't get have enough here to make actual pints I'm fine with that This pan or pot is abnormally large. Note to self, we will not have this on high again. Is a fish 
freshly empty. We're not going to quite get a full dozen, which is okay. All that yummy sauce. my pile of dishes. Easier if I put that down. This workspace is so dirty. and I will be mixing them around. This is because of to help with the acidity. That way we can water bath can it. I do not do hot packing yet. I don't feel comfortable with hot packing. So this that is why I waited the day after processing the tomatoes to actually can them. And also my back was just killing me. spoon and we're just going to like mix the lemon juice and the tomato sauce together. Normally you should put the lemon juice and the salt in. I'm not putting no salt in mine. It is optional um, but the lemon juice is not optional. You have to put lemon juice in this. And I will be linking a recipe in the video description box below if you guys want to check that out. I kind of did like a rebel canning recipe. I don't recommend doing this at home unless you are knowledgeable in canning. I have canned my entire life with my great great grandmother and my mother and my great great aunt. So I feel comfortable with what I'm doing. Another thing too, while I'm mixing in this lemon juice, it is also deep bubbling the sauce a little bit. Now we've got some white distilled vinegar. I got this from Ruler Foods. You can use white distilled vinegar for everything. I used to not understand why people bought this stuff, but now that I'm older, I understand. 
all you gotta do, take your finger, dip it in your vinegar, and then I like to wipe, you gotta wipe the rim, and then I like to wipe this part as well. When I do this, I dip it in between every single one. This one right here has got this big indent. I don't know if y'all can see that or not, but that might affect the seal on it. So even though these do come from the manufacturer, it doesn't mean that the seal on every ring is going or every lid is going to be fine. these on too tight just hand tight because you want to be able to pull these off whenever they get done all right so clean that lid off again. while you were prepping your jars and everything you can go ahead and if you are hot packing I don't hot pack like I said so I can't give any recommendations on this so the way that I do it is I don't warm my water up until I get the rings on my jars and then I will place the jars in the water while it's warming up and then once it starts boiling that's whenever I start my time These are all wide mouth jars and the lid brand is what is on the lid is called choice. Whenever I got all of my dozen of jars sent to me, I only ended up having about four that were broke and they were always, every box was, was either a mellow, whenever I got these delivered to me around in February, the only thing that was an issue was I had about four jars, four or five jars break in transit. I did not request a refund because I mean, I did order a large quantity, so that was kind of expected. And they were all the middle jars or the jars in the corners. So that, that happened while, whenever I bought all of these jars. We now have jars the jars are all have their lids and rings on now we are going to get out our pressure cooker that I'm also using as a water bath canner and we are going to fill it up with water and place the jars into the water and then turn our oven on I mean stove on we are going to turn our stove on high and then once the water starts boiling, that's whenever we will start our time and we're going to process these for about 90 minutes at my altitude. You need to check your altitude and see what the recommended time processing is because 
I live in Kentucky. We are at 1500 altitude where I'm at. So I have to process these for 90 minutes, but you need to check your local food preservation books. And this is a hard bottom pot. I do have the plate for in here, but I'm not going to put the plate in here. You don't have to with the bottom being a hard bottom. It ain't going to affect your jars any. And I'm just going to fill this up with water up to about halfway because whenever you put jars into a pot of water, it will make the water level go up. So we're just going to put up about halfway to like about right here. Our jars now into our pressure cooker water bath canner pot and I'm gonna see how much more water it needs after I put all the jars in I've got about halfway full right now and I've got about four jars in and it's raising it up a little bit but not a whole lot Okay, so this ended up being just enough water because it is covering the top. Thank you. 